human being alive. So I live in New Orleans. I'm here for spring break. Apparently, Anthony Mackie lives here too. I pulled up to a gas station. Here, Anthony Mackie comes in this huge fucking truck, all blacked out, all fucking sleek, windows down. So it's like, also, if you don't want people to come up to you and fucking say how much they appreciate your work, why the fuck are all your windows down and you're blasting music, smoking a fucking cigar? The worst thing you can tell somebody that's in love with somebody that's no good for them is this. Just leave him. When I was in what I was in, the worst thing people could tell me was leave my man. Oh, because I wasn't leaving my man. You might leave me when the conversation is over. You might leave your man, but I wasn't leaving my man. My mama did this one thing that made me want to leave my man, right? I'm sitting there telling her all the bad stuff, and she says, you will get tired. This guy thinks I'm stealing. You got items on you, and I need those me, items back. I, I don't if you do not get those items back, you're going to be detained, you're going to go to jail. Don't touch me. They see me on camera. See me on camera doing what? I have a job to do. It's not personal. It is personal because nope. you're accusing me of stealing. They watch you on camera. Watch me on they camera. They watch you on camera. Bring up the footage. They're, te they're telling me right now that you Bring have items on Bring up the footage. Items. They're telling me right now you have the items. Bring up the footage, please. So here's the deal, okay? I'm going to work with you, okay? If you There's give me no the working. Item, this Don't is it. This me. is your only chance. This is your only I'm chance. I'm literally... Okay? Okay. okay, let's go talk to the guy then. Yeah, boy! Hola, Ovito. <laughs> Hola, Ovito. Hey, hey, hey. We're in the building. Man, this okay. your podcast, it's man. Good, good people. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Good evening. Now I add you to guess who's bizarre? It's still smelling <laughs> cracking her clothes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> don't let T relapse on these hoes. She, she, she said, "Don't relapse on these yeah. hoes." The spring is here. Don't be relapsing, T. Spring like six <laughs> days away. Don't let. Oh. Oh, don't ever let me relapse. Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. you ninjas, get ready. Because <laughs> if she relapse on y'all, <laughs> sound like it's, it's gonna get dark for y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's good, internet? My good people, What's up? you know what I'm saying? This joint podcast, man. We this here for another show. Usual, we got a great show for you all tonight. We have our usual videos to react to. Make sure we hit that like button. Like and hit subscribe. subscribe. Yes, so y'all comment with me. Yes, comment with T. Throw them yep. comments in yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. You know, she be talking nasty. Look, she say yes. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Los of Dark Gable got my man. You Mr. CJ know, over here. Yeah, CJ. You know, yeah, saying. Y'all know y'all y'all should know the line already. I mm -hmm. do a lot, but I don't do the most. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. over there, you know, we got uh, Miss Honey Dip Miss Hot Honey Habanero. Dip. Yes, <laughs> spicy like jalapeno, nice and sweet. <laughs> oh, lordy. Look, and she got the hot pink on. Mm -hmm. but look uh -oh. at her. Well, with the with the with the with the, with the, the is that the lace shirt you got on? No, it's not lace. It's not lace. No, it's not lace. No see through over there. It's a little. It's a little see through, but it's not oh, lace. Okay, I'm saying, you know what I mean? You. I, but let me tell you something. I'm covered. I. I okay, I, listen. I don't know if you want to give the internet a show or not. So. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we'll, we'll take the views. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we we'll take the views. Take the views. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, listen, y'all. So she came and pranked us, y'all, with these. <laughs> Yeah, these corny, and these goddamn it scratch wasn't corny off. Because <laughs> we over here <laughs> scratch the whole damn thing. Me and CJ over here <laughs> scratching, and we like, like what "Hey man, it's all on? sevens, man. Why, how, we, how you know if gotcha. we won or not?" <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> like what the yeah. hell? Yeah. God damn April Fools, boy. Yeah, I, I had to get them. I had to get them. I had to. I didn't see them yesterday, so <sighs> today is our April Fools. Yes. Yes, yeah. But you see how, you see how she does it? She, you see how she do it? Oh, I got a whole lot of stuff up my uh, side. I'm afraid. Listen, do not eat any jelly donuts from her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or drink any orange Kool-Aid. Because <laughs> you might see, end up in a hospital. See. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. telling too much of my business, Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. Stay away from jelly donuts and orange Kool Aid. Facts. You know what I mean? You might be eating a a, a, a ketchup donut <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and drinking some 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 orange macaroni and macaroni cheese macaroni, flavored macaroni and cheese Kool flavored Kool Aid or something. That's terrible. <laughs> I feel sorry for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she, and it she was did it. fun. And she did it to her kids. Yes, I did. It was fun. Yeah, my mom do that to me. Guess what? Yep, it was fun. <laughs> April, I put, don't I put talk clear to me until like polish, July. Clear <laughs> nail polish on uh, Twizzlers. 
Now, what if they went to the hospital or something? Because by the time they by the time they took the first bite, they was like, "Wait a minute, something's wrong with this." <laughs> Except for my greedy son, he was like, "Mom." Why does it he, like this? he still is eating. <laughs> he still is eating. <laughs> he like, I don't care. I'm a power through this. <laughs> I'm a power through this. He's like, wait a minute, sugar. She giving us candy. About six, let me get no candy. Yeah, yeah. So that was rare for me to just let them like freely eat candy. So it was like, wait a minute, she let me eat candy. <laughs> yeah, he like, no, I'm power. I don't care. Is she like, boy, stop eating that. That's that's laced with nail might, polish. Right? You might get your stomach pumped. <laughs> like, get like, your stomach pumped. I don't hey, know. This is good, mom. He like, hey, mom, at this particular time, I'm going to finish this Twizzler. I'm going to be mad at you later, but I'm going to finish this Twizzler. <laughs> oh, I mean, you got to love kids, man. Yes. You got to love kids, man. Anyway, anywho, shall we... Shall we start with the first video? Yo? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, man. Who we... What we got, man? What we got for the first video? Oh, I got my where my oh here on my 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 clicker thing, my clicker thingy. Come on, yeah. you supposed to always be ready, stay ready, so you ain't gotta get ready. Hey. Oh shit! Shout yeah. out to the philosopher. Yeah, you know that listen, you know, you know the you know the, the last woman that said they end up pregnant. Oh, <laughs> stay ready, so I had to get ready. Oh, wow, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. Damn. Damn. So, n ladies, now no, do not say that to my man. Because guess what? It will lead you to somewhere that you probably would want to be, though. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he Lose, I need you to stay ready so you can get them. ready. Mm -hmm. Say less. <laughs> da, da, da. Exactly. Yeah, man. No Diddy. No, oh, no Diddy. All right. No, yo, I'm gonna start saying no Cassie. Oh what? damn! <laughs> Shout out to Diddy, man. If Shout out to Diddy. If you're a scumbag, you're a scumbag. But if not, we riding with you. No, yeah. no Cassie. No Cassie. No, no, no Cassie, y'all. No Cassie. <laughs> God damn it! All right, man. What we got for that first video, man? So first video, man. Anthony Mackie gets called out by a fan for being rude at a gas station. Okay. See what this hell for? I mean, if they don't leave Captain America alone, it's oh, yes. a new black cat. He, be, he busy. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I am super black man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, what peanut that, man? That peanut kicked us off. It's Mr. Podcast. Oh. Let's go. So I just met Anthony Mackie, and let me just say, rudest human being alive. So I live in New Orleans. I'm here for spring break. Apparently, Anthony Mackie lives here too. I pulled up to a gas station. Here Anthony Mackie comes in this huge fucking truck, all blacked out, all fucking sleek, windows down. So it's like, also, if you don't want people to come up to you and fucking say how much they appreciate your work, why the fuck are all your windows down and you're blasting music, smoking a fucking cigar? So I park my car, getting ready to pump my gas. I see Anthony Mackie across the fucking lot. I gently walk up to him being like, oh my God, I'm so sorry to bother because I know celebrities are on time. I know celebrities got shit to do. I understand that. So I walk up being very, very, very respectful, very, very, very open-minded, being like, hey, I'm so sorry to bother you. Tell me why Anthony Mackie did this. No. No. To my face. No. And then just went back to what he was doing, having me standing there. I was standing there in front of Anthony Mackie being like, oh, should I, should I leave? Like, should I, should I go? When I tell you, all I wanted to do was walk up to that man. First of all, thank you for his time for even looking at me. And then saying how much I thought appreciated his work. And that was it. That was it. I just wanted to be like, hey, Anthony Mackie, like, it's so nice to meet you. Like, I'm so, like, uh, your work is actually phenomenal. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Like, have an amazing day. That was it. That was it. That was all I wanted. But these fucking celebrities make it seem like we're fucking roaches and rats. Bitch, I'm pumping my, the fucking, I'm at the same gas station as you, bitch. Baby, we on the same level playing field. I'm pumping the same gas you pumping right now. And you can't even look at me. Even if he was like, oh, like, hi, like, shush, like, you know, like, I'm on the, I'm on the low right now, but it's so nice to meet you. That would have been amazing. But I get a hand to the face. I get fucking stranded looking stupid. Anthony Mackie, the rudest celebrity. The rudest celebrity. 
You make celebrities look bad. You do. You make them look bad. You do. But obviously, Jay. somebody is butt hurt. How what do you think, Tay? How you meet one celebrity and then think he's he's rude? First of all, go meet about ten more and let's see if she get the same response. Also, number two, how you gonna sit there and say? I went with an open mind. If you mm -hmm. had an open mind, he's a human too. Just because he's an actor, they don't want to be bothered. Exactly. Like he don't. Imagine how many thousands of people approach him on a daily. Yeah. He, yeah. If he's getting gas, let him pump his gas like everybody else. Did you walk to everybody that was at a pump? Did you? you, know, did you the, do that? The only, the, I believe, the only city that he would not probably be harassed as much is LA, LA. because you know, yeah. they see a lot of stars out there. Right. But. New Orleans? Oh, you know, they probably on his top, boy. See, the thing about it is, at the end of the day, if you spent the, I don't know, $20 to go see my movie, or you watched, you know, you pay your cable bill, so you watch me on TV or whatever, that's all. I don't owe you anything. As mm -hmm. a celebrity, I don't, I, I, you don't, I don't have to speak to you because you come up to, like, no, I don't have to do none of that. So at the end of the day, you paid for, what you got? You paid for something, you got a movie back. That's <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. I don't owe you. So I don't understand why people, because at the end of the day, a celebrity is just a person who entertained you. Correct. You're still a yep. regular person. Exactly. Do you walk up to your boss like, Joe, what's up, Joe? <laughs> yeah, you pay. I got that paycheck last week, baby. I love you. Like, no, you don't. So chill. Let him. He's a regular, he's a, a, a regular person. Yes, he and how do you know he wasn't going through something? He might have been could have smoking, had a bad day. He could have been smoking a cigar with his music blasting because he just he found just out something with his something. family or something. Right. Yeah. Here you come De just being Joe as hell. <laughs> Anthony Mackie. Like, bro. Like, I just want to show you how I appreciate you. Okay, come well, you on. know what? I appreciate me by continuing to, to support my movies. And support that? all black yeah. movies. But you, know, you, you know what I do whenever I see a star or something like that? I just give them the head nod and the, and the point. Right. Yeah, what's that? You, I, know, you know what they do? That's it. Right. Because they don't want to be bothered. They don't want you coming up to them, give actual autographs all the I time. I had a famous they rapper. They get it so much on a daily, they probably tired of it. Yeah. Like, I had a famous on. rapper live next door to me as a teenager. When I say I didn't see people that I never thought I would see, stretch limos, all kind of stuff. And at the end of the day, it was like, all right, I'm going to chill until I think it's cool. And then I say, yo, what's up? And just keep it chill. I, I understand you see a celebrity and you kind of lose your, just chill. If you treat them regular, I'm pretty sure they will be like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, but if I'm you sorry. come I'm over doing all that, they get all picture, and, and think about it. In today's world, what's the first thing a person do? Throw a, a, a phone up in your right. face. Uh, come on, like, right. bro, you don't even know me. You don't even know what type of day I'm having. Right. So just sit your Joe ass down and, and just chill. And then, yeah. I, I remember I was at a nightclub. And it was um, this one. Vic used to play for the Eagles. It was Vic and a couple of other NFL stars. Now my, I, I, I played ball too. So but I ain't. That was my husband. I said, "Oh my God, here we yes. go." Oh, Miss Camera Phone over here. Yes. And I said, <laughs> I, I sent, I sent them over a drink. I said, send them all a drink. You know what they did? They just lift up the drink, boom, 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 and they send the drink right back. That's it. Hey, I appreciate your work, bro. Right. Here go a drink for you, man. You know what I mean? Toast. That's it. You ain't gotta go over there and be asking for autograph because a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these guys, these fanatics, they'll have their children go ask them for autographs and they'll take, yep. they'll take the autographs and sell that shit on eBay. That's why you'll never see stars sign autographs in blue Bla pens. Yeah, it's, it's it, yeah. black. It's black. It's black. Oh, okay, yeah, they'll because they can yeah. always transfer no, that blue. Autograph. You right? It's, it's blue. blue. Yeah, yeah, blue. They always transfer that autograph and try to make money off of. You know what I mean? So, I mean, they, they're human, too. You know what I'm saying, man? I've never been the type of person that been, like, all starstruck, like, when I see a celebrity. Like, I don't see several, but I'm not going to get all, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, hey. If I see Serena Williams. Yeah, I'm top. Okay. I ain't going to be Joe. I, that ain't my nature, but, um. <laughs> hey, whisper hey, a little hey, 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 T, so what if you saw a porn star? What? Oh, what, what what's some of the black the black metal uh, Wesley Pipes? What, yeah, Wesley Pipes. Would you? Be? I don't know who that is. Oh, Wesley Pipes. Hmm. Get the fuck out. I'm you serious. don't know who Brian Pumper is? No, I don't. I don't watch the porno. You don't know Mr. Marcus? Mm -mm. He's the most famous one. Nope, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh Wrong topic God. for me. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Ask some of your girlfriends. I'm sure they <laughs> they know. I just make my own porno. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa. Whoa. Are you on <laughs> OnlyFans? <laughs> oh Are you yeah, on OnlyFans? Yeah, y'all. This is a, this content getting a little too explicit. Let me turn my back on. Her. Now explains why you got all them cars. <laughs> Hey, what are you talking about? You on OnlyFans? No. What, oh, what cars? You got a lot of cars. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> that's what that's what all people who got a lot of stuff say. No, if y'all don't know, she drive up here every week in a different car. You that's know? a lie. Facts. <laughs> Who's lying? Facts. You are. Yeah. That is not the truth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, wait, so, when we move on, now, now let me ask y'all, do y'all think that Anthony was in the wrong for not at least acknowledging her. Like, listen, thank you very much. Woo, woo, Again, he does what do not owe her anything. Yeah, he no, he was not that. wrong. I just feel he like he was not wrong. So if it was somebody else, a regular, ordinary person that was just w- pumping their gas yeah. and they did the same thing, would she have felt some kind of way? No. Like, would they be considered rude? No. Mm-hmm. But because he's a celebrity and he's on, he's in movies, now he's rude. Okay. But like I said, if she was to go somewhere and, and see 10 celebrities, out of 10, I guarantee you probably at least six or seven will do the same thing. Oh, she probably lose her mind. In Perfect her example. Kanye, we see Kanye doing this, doing that to people all the time. They don't want to be bothered. I'm not a show. I'm not a. I'm sorry. I'm, yay. I'm not an animal in Kanye. the zoo. Like, I don't want yeah. you to just come up to me. Because again, my. My whole thing is if you walk into towards him he probably see you so just wave at him right. see what he do first he could if he throw you to wave like hey like then that, and she probably was more excited like, than the she way she was. explained it she, she was, was probably all like oh my god they're gonna hear me like, oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> doing all that yes. <laughs> yeah. like, hold on oh, girl, girl guess what i'm gonna run up to <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, get your ass hey, out of here. I'm not, like I said, oh, I, I think you're right. I'm sure if she was nice and calm, shot him a wave, he would probably would have walked over there. Yeah. Like, you know I mean? Thank you very much. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Doing too much. But she probably ran over there. I'm fucking, sure she did. Fucking yeah. flip flops all in the wind and shit. <laughs> you know? So, <laughs> so think about this. She, she making it appear as if she was a little bit more calm than when she yeah, was, but I'm you, pretty you, sure she, she wasn't. What her? And look, think about she 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 afterwards, her first reaction is to put her phone up in her car and make a video about it. Yeah. So you yeah. don't think she has that same personality when she's seeing him? So she got all this to say after the situation, but she approached him like, hey, how you doing, Anthony Mackey? I'm happy to see you. You know, your work, I'm, I'm, I really appreciate the work you do. Is it okay? She didn't come to him like that. Nah. She came to, ooh, the same way she made that video. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Sit your ass down. Yeah, that y'all talking about, oh, boy, I'm going to take my shirt off on. I'm going to show these teddy nibbles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anthony going to pick me. Yeah, mm, no. Well, no, he's not. Anthony said, if you don't get your gas station ass up out of here, go <laughs> pump your gas station. Yeah. Come, come to me when you, when you refresh them, them yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anthony, yes. Hey, like, girl, go ahead and pump that 87. <laughs> yeah, 94 I'm pumping 90. octane, ho. Look, look. <laughs> and that 98 Accord. Yeah, yeah, I mean. <laughs> this your own podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like drop a comment tell us what you think man man ho- hopefully one day we could be big as anthony mackie oh we are yeah you know what i mean so when we walk in the philly gas station and- first of all once i get big like that i will not be in philly oh you won't i will oh. but the show but the show will be in philly. what you gonna do hood. every week you gonna come to philly excuse you me fly in who said suppose, i was supposed to show that was that was uh flying distance who knows where i'm going to go why would i tell y'all where i'm going damn why would i, why would I tell you part of the show <laughs> god damn no, it we need like, to know why, where you're going to be I tell the audience where the hell i'm going i don't want oh. them like look i'm already in hiding now why would i t- <laughs> Wait, why are you hiding are you a drug dealer <laughs> I'm yes, sorry i said the wrong words yes, hiding <laughs> actually, yes. multiple cars <laughs> Pornos. Yeah, this is getting real deep over here. Yeah, listen, we need to know if the cartel gonna be knocking on the door. Yes. You know listen, we love you. Know, you. They don't take no witnesses. We love you, El Chapo. We don't want no smoke. <laughs> we want no smoke. <laughs> yeah, hey. <laughs> oh yeah, we looking for a hot habanero over there. Yeah, right. Where is hot habanero? Yeah, we don't know where habanero is. What, we speak English. We don't. What, what, what does that mean in English? <laughs> we good. No. Look around. We, or I got guns on my head. Talking about girl, get your ass in the yes. studio right now. Right. <laughs> you talking about you in Guadalajara? We don't even know where that's at. <laughs> oh man, this your podcast, man. So what we got? What we got for number two? Number two. What we got uh, for my clicker? Oh, video number two. A woman claims that all men are evil after her date. 
would not pay for their meal because she didn't look like her picture. I think somebody got, uh, what's that word you call it? Catfished. That is catfished, goddammit. These hoes ain't loyal. DG, that CJ, that damn <laughs> peanut. It's this drum podcast. Oh. Let's go. Guys, I just finished my date and I am so embarrassed. I'm not gonna cry in here. I'm not gonna cry. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to um, clean myself up a little bit. He came. He came. And so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to. And it was a little too expensive, but I, I don't know. I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this, like, I had this dress on. And I changed because I just I had this dress on and everything. And I had my hair out. Like, you know, guys, I cut it. But it wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. And so I went in and he was, like, looking around like, oh, like he was looking for somebody else. And I was like, okay. I'm like, hey, I'm Tia. And then she, he was like, Tia. I'm like, yeah, it's for me from BLK. And then we, he was, like, looking confused. And he told me to sit down. So I sat down. I smiled. And he didn't smile back at me. And then he was like, I don't look like my pictures. I do look on my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. I, I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. And he was like, you know, just being so quiet through the meal and all that. He didn't even want to pay. I said, hey, I didn't bring my money with me. And then he eventually paid. And then now he cashed. He, he sent me a request to pay for the food. And that's not. I just don't understand. Why are men like this? Men are evil. <laughs> Cry me a river. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's exactly why you women should not be using filters. Stop using filters. Oh what did God. I say? What, what, oh my God. what did I say? Oh my God. What did I say a couple episodes ago? The twos and the threes, you gotta date the twos and the threes. Three, yes. If you she are a two or a three, don't think she's a two. And that's why she's <laughs> sitting in her car crying because if you would just take the twos and the, again, I said I'm a six, strong seven when I get my hair cut. I know that I'm I'm in a certain position. I know I'm not gonna go out there looking for the Rihannas and my hairline is receding. I gotta get it fixed first, or I gotta stay in my lane. Stay Stay in your lane. You got cooked she on got a date. Her own on a lane. Day. She got her own lane. It, all, is, it is the third why lane. Why the hell she what her hair look like that? Like, what, what was the hell with the whole naps on the side and the two? What was up with the she, she said she got it parted. Why what? was her lips stuck to the side like this? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay. All right. You know what? She was cooked. Listen. <laughs> Yes, everything was wrong. Like they said in the in the chat, everything was wrong. Yes. If you're doing internet pimping, <laughs> if you don't internet, I'm gonna talk to my brothers. I think she had a if, sheet. I, I wish we could go back. I think she had a sheet wrapped around her. That looked like a sheet. Probably or was. Probably was. It, it, my brothers, if you're doing internet pimping, man, if you to avoid all that. And like CJ said earlier, behind the scenes, if they if a woman holds up the phone, where's a woman holds up the if phone? She holds, then, then she does this. She does, she's taking a video or yeah. a, a picture from up top. That is the dead giveaway that she's, and this is no disrespect, that she's probably a little heavier down the bottom. So she only wants to give you the view from up here. And they yeah. said that most women that you know are smaller and this is just what i heard from somebody who does modeling that they normally take the picture from down low because they yeah, want yeah. you to see so, their that's that's exactly. so if you don't internet pimping man you gotta gotta get all that out the way early hey listen baby girl you know i mean shoot me a a a, a google duo shoot me a facetime a, a facetime something you know what i mean it's, i need to see your natural beauty I need to see it. They should have saw her natural beauty without that picture because that picture was a total misrepresentation it was. of her. But listen, period. But listen, <laughs> this is what happens with women. Y'all not women, I'll just say not all of them, but women, y'all go out, the lashes, the eyebrows, the makeup, the this to that, and you looking like, woo. And then we go to bed and you wake up like, ooh. Mm. And you can't go from woo to ooh. 
that's too shocking yeah. for us. And, and show it, me your natural. And you know what? To <clears throat> excuse me, to be truthful, truthful. Most men don't care about all that makeup shit. Drake said it best. Sweat. Men really. Most men really do not, care, especially older men, don't care about all that makeup. I need to see your natural, natural beauty because if if we meet up. That's not the representative that I looked <laughs> Drake said. On, on the gram? Look, Drake, look, oh, the, the, the pictures of, of the women that I see, they go through full transformations. Like, they yeah. look totally different. Drake, I'm like, completely oh my different. God. Drake said it best. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. It's the truth. Like, I had this, this one guy I was talking to. He would not want me to get dressed at all. Like, I'm the type of person I get dressed. He was like, no, just... Just wear some weird t-shirt. He want you to stay naked. Oh, <laughs> got my t-shirt and my panties <laughs> on. First yeah. of all, I don't need. I don't need like, nobody. I'm like, girl, I'm coming to see you. I don't need nobody to tell me to get naked. I don't oh, get that shit. <laughs> That's spicy. She said, skip the spring. We going right to summer. It's getting hot. Yo, look, I remember, man, I, when I was a young boy, I my my first, I would say my first year of internet pimping. Because I used to do my internet pimping, Ooh. you know what I mean? Which is online dating. My first year of online dating. So I, I hook up with this girl. So I said, yo, well, meet me at the gallery down, you know, downtown. And she said, okay. I said, she said, where are you going to be at? I'm going to be by the water fountain next to, uh, I think, the Gap, some shit like that. I said, okay. I said, well, just, you know, meet me there. I was on the upper level looking down. <laughs> waiting. Yeah. And I ain't, I ain't like what I seen. <laughs> Man, I dipped up out of here. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Listen. Hell that, no. That happened to me. <laughs> when uh, um, So my, my, my brother, he I lost the bet, so I had to set up a plenty of fish profile. Oh, <laughs> so I set it up. I'm, okay, I'm, this girl, pictures was nice. I never forget she lived up here somewhere. Man, I pulled up. This girl came outside. I said, wait, hold up. Oh, who's you? <laughs> I said, oh, oh, oh. your name so so She's like, yeah. I'm like, and again, you know, I got a little bit of comedic ways to me. So I'm being funny, but I'm being serious. I said, so what you had pictures up there from when you was in high school? <laughs> she was like, I, what? that no. All my yeah, pictures is new. Shit. There is no way in hell that picture with you in the green is new because that, that woman don't look like you. And then it was then that I figured I found out that catfishing was a real thing. I'm like, girl, yes, it is. come on, you out they be here using all yeah, other yeah. people's Looking pictures. Crazy! I listen. I didn't know that was real until my friend Jazz. She oh, 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 oh about the catfishing. They don't. Yeah, they some, don't she use sent their me a pictures. She's like, what they do is I'm they just like, like a, I don't even know nothing about it. Get a, 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 a combination or cumulative of, of pictures of, of of the same person. That way, Word. they can be consistent. Yeah. Yeah, yo, it's crazy. Look, I don't know who it was, but I had I had this one person texting my phone because I've never been like on the, the whole internet pimping it like y'all. But yeah. he would send me pictures, and I'm like, "Who are you?" Send me a picture once, and I'm like, oh, "Okay, send me another one." But every picture would be the same person, but different clothing. But I'm like, obviously this ain't you because I can tell this yeah. is like a picture from like the internet. Yeah, look, then I Googled yeah, yeah, it yeah. and look I'm like, like, like I he took a picture from Walmart. Look at I Googled it, it and I found it online. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, who are you? Because they would, I guess they was texting me from, you know, like one of them, them text apps. Yeah. Oh, like so one of them. I never, them spoof, I never, yeah. Spoof phone numbers or some shit like that. I never that. found out Google, who it was. Google numbers. Man. Ladies, show a picture of your real self. Just show, hey. Yeah, this is I'm Shaquanda. Look, this is me in the flesh, and then go from there. Don't be showing me pictures like you, you like you was out with Beyonce and them, and then I'd <laughs> come pulled up and you just Shaquanda. No, yeah. come on, man. Yeah, then you know they they even had those apps too to make people look thinner. Yes, they got it all. Oh, work. Yes, they got, they got this. You can be thinner. Damn. You can be thinner, can, lighter, yeah. everything. No. Listen, now look, I was like, hey, baby, show me a picture of yourself. Then. Once I verify that shoe, send me a video. Send me a, send me a picture of your titty. Oh, sh pull your titty out. Pull your oh. titty out. <laughs> Look, Look with let Photoshop. Me see, let so me see a titty nipple. So, so much stuff can happen with Photoshop. I want to see a slip. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, this is your own podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Damn pervert. Yeah, talk to your <laughs> oh my God. Damn. No Diddy. We can't call yeah, nobody. Man, no Diddy, y'all. We can't no call nobody the P word while yeah. these it, allegations it, are flying. No, no R. Kelly. Oh, damn. No no Robert. <laughs> no, no Robert. <laughs> 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 no robbery, y'all. <laughs> um, well, what we got for video number three? Shall we? Are, are we signed to video number three yeah, now? Number three, video let's number go. Three. Let me see video number three. 
So we got video number three. A woman says that this is the worst thing that you can tell her, tell someone who who is in a toxic relationship. You have any idea? I don't. You got any see. idea what it is? We'll see. We'll see. Right, let's find out, man. Little let's peanut kick this off right here. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. The worst thing you can tell somebody that's in love with somebody that's no good for them is this. Just leave him. When I was in what I was in, the worst thing people could tell me was leave my man. Oh, because I wasn't leaving my man. You might leave me when the conversation is over. You might leave your man, but I wasn't leaving my man. My mama did this one thing that made me want to leave my man, right? I'm sitting there telling her all the bad stuff, and she says, you will get tired. I'm like, no, mom, I'm like, my ass black. Like, she like, it'll come a day. Oh, that right there, that'll do it. I'm like, mom, he was talking so crazy to me. Like, she said, you can always come home. The day I left my mama house and I said I was moving out and me and my man, we was going to be together. That's just what it was. She helped me pack up the car. She said, all right, if it work, it work. And if it don't, it don't, right? And we drove off into the sunset, y'all. Yes, it. Yeah. And then when we got into it or whatever, a couple times, then I came back home and she was like, you all right? I said, I ain't never going back to him. She would walk into my room and say, you all right? Then when my man had told me it's time to pack up and leave my mama house again, and, and it's time for us to be together again, I packed my stuff up. Cause my mama was so mad, and I could tell she was so mad, right? But she came over, she got us toiletry, she got us everything. Yes, she did, she was supportive. Then I came home again, cause you know, it got bad again, and then she said, you will get tired. Baby, I was looking ran down, stressed and depleted and depressed, and she said, you ready now? I said, I am so done with him. She said, you will get tired. Sometimes you gotta tell people to stay. Cause if you tell them to leave, as humans, we wanna do the opposing thing. So here it is, baby, stay. Stay, if that's what you're into. Cause sometimes we get an adrenaline rush back and forth with another person. It's a chemical imbalance. It's something we get addicted to. But one day you're gonna start to hate the highs and lows of your body chemistry going up and down. And one day you're gonna hate the highs and lows of your mental going up and down. And one day you're gonna hate the highs and lows of the highs and lows with somebody. You just wanna stay regulated, right? You will get tired. I'm not gonna sit on this app and keep telling you, just leave. Just, you're not gonna leave. You will get tired. So, T, I got a couple Gee, of questions. I'm going to ask you this. So, what would you say to someone who's in a toxic relationship or, or in a oh, abusive man. relationship? I've, 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 I've lived through that um, with girlfriends or whatever. And at the end of the day, pretty much I would just ask them, okay, look, you good? What you need mm -hmm. from me? Or, you know, they would, they would ask my advice. I would tell them my advice. I said, but look, I know that's not what you want to do, but this is what I need you to do. Just stay safe. Yeah. If you ever need to come to my house, my house is always an open, safe space for you and your kids. But at the end of the day, people are there. When they get tired, they'll yeah. get tired. But they leave for multiple. They stay for multiple reasons. It could be, you know, financial reasons, low self-esteem, because a lot of times what I've come across is women that stayed in relationships like that. It's because the men pretty much broke them down to a point where it's like, okay, the the women think that they need that man for whatever yeah. reason. And and that's why they always pretty much stay. So do you, do you think there's anything that a friend or family member can say to make them like, no, yo, come on, no, you know, come to your all. senses? No, not at all. For real? A person got to live through it and grow through it. And they just got to just figure it out on their own because no matter what, I can tell you to leave that man a hundred times and what you want to do is to think, yeah. oh no, she a hater. Nah, nah, nah. Nope. They got to they gotta do it on their own because at the end of the day, it's like if they're not tired enough of that guy beating on them or whatever the case may be, because a lot of yeah. times they say, you know, better women, it takes them about, I think the statistics are like seven to eight chances tries before they finally Word. leave and, yeah. and don't let children be involved. If children are involved, oh my man, it makes it even harder. Hmm. CJ, what do you think, bro? I think. <clears throat> excuse me. Well, wait, well, well, let me ask you oh, this. Okay. I got, I got a question okay. for you. Do you think a positive male role model in a woman's life would, would make her see that she's in a toxic relationship? Because I'm sure, um, like, I, I know as a father, I'll be like, yo, I, your baby girl, either you gonna leave him or I'm gonna kill him, one or the other. I think that. That definitely, that definitely will help. But I also think is that the like, like speaking to that woman when she's young and finding out like what's her, what's her likes, her dislikes. Cause I know a lot of people that have had, you know, great fathers and they mm -hmm. chose trash men. 
and it's like well your father was a great guy like why what would make you choose somebody like that's the total opposite and i think sometimes it's just like if the father's not really talking to her and understanding why she would make those type type of decision is she does she have a self-esteem issue is she hanging around with the wrong people so i think that that happens and and yeah the father is important or just a a good male role model but it's also talking to the women because again once you get like my mom and dad was married i'll use myself my mom and dad was married but and my dad was faithful to my mom but i wasn't trying to hear what old head was saying i was seeing on the videos <laughs> that they was getting the hose and i was trying to be outside getting the hose so like I, I, sometimes yeah, i think and again my dad at? never really he never really talked to me about relationships like you know yeah. he told me you know cherish the woman be nice to her and all but he never told me about like temptation like yeah. i think he should have talked to me about that like yo listen you're gonna be tempted that you know you you might like this girl but you won't be tempted because of just biology mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. really had those conversations so <laughs> i'm just seeing my friends around me. my friends is making fun of me because i got a, a girlfriend and it's the only girl i talk to and they're like what you doing that for like well, come on it's all these girls so i didn't know and then it's like all right you some a lot of times you just fold under the peer pressure because you're young and you don't know no better yeah. and you're not confident in yourself to stand out nobody wants to be the outlier where i'm doing this i'm by myself nobody's doing this and even and they make making fun of me and I'm still going to do it. You don't do that when you're young. You want to be a part of the in crowd. You want to be like, yeah. you, want, you know, so yeah. um, I just think when she said like, you know, the, the the information her mom was giving her as a as a parent, I'm not going to just tell my kid, my son being dogged out by a woman, I'm not going to just be like, well, all right, go ahead. When you tired, you, you know, I'm be like, yo, she's a whore, bro. Okay? <laughs> I'm going yeah, yeah. to give you the information. You got a father talking about You'll get tired. No, <laughs> she didn't smash. Uh, uh, it was it was Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky. No, no, she's a bro. She's a HOE. I'm sorry, oh I can't gosh. say that. She HOE, bro. That, Come on, that get, girl get is boys. She is. Never but trust I mean, a big button yeah, smile. I mean, like uh, the one thing me as as a father, I could not just sit by and and i I don't want to take it to the extent because i we don't know their their situation right right? if it was abusive or maybe it was just verbally toxic i could not sit by and just watch my daughter continuously be hurt you know i mean time after time you know i mean that that, listen i couldn't sit by and watch my son right You know, because if he come to me talking about man, dad, that girl cheating on me, man, what? Yeah, but I mean, at the end, I mean, what, what are you doing? I ain't trying so to hear that bullshit. Let's just say, okay, in that situation, your daughter, you're telling her, you're guiding her, but she still don't want to listen. So what do you do? Like, because I've had guys who, yeah. you know, that are fathers and they did the best they could. Like, I know a guy who's a therapist, and you know, like you would have thought that his kids would be fine, and you got this one girl is. Dylan, you know, got three kids, you know, and and, and and got this abusive boyfriend. And like you would have never thought his kids would have like any situations like that. But at the end of the day, it's like he just kept trying to support her and the, kids yeah. and the babies because she kept having the babies. But it's like, OK, what, what more can you really do? Yeah, but then a lot of our children have to understand that as a father, when when you see your kid or your children self-destructing or just doing thing it's that it's that protector in you like yo like you don't know how much you are hurting your parent because you as i don't know how mothers feel but as a father you you always want to protect your child always want to protect your children so what happens to them it's it's like a, it, it feels like a reflection on you like well damn i right. couldn't i couldn't protect my my daughter i got right. this man beating on my daughter yeah, man, I, all I'm saying is that it, it I think it really happen. depends on the person. I wouldn't just say uh, you know well, mothers yeah, compared yeah. to fathers because everybody's upbringing is different, and I know some women who are mothers that are totally different from other mothers. So I think it really depends on the person. Again, I, I'll never forget um, in the, uh, Tyler Perry one of those movies. Medea says, "Yeah, you, you know, one day you got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired." All right. yeah. And to me, yeah. I, that, that, that's one of the most profound, you know, um, sayings that I've ever heard because I've seen it a million times. Yeah, you just got to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And then hopefully, like my dad used to always say to me, "A smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistake of others." Mm-hmm. Right. So that's mm-hmm. that's big for me because it's like, all right, if I see 
you going through something. I see you doing. Oh, I don't want to go down that route. Uh, if that's what the ending is, I'm cool. So I think that again, just exposing people to different stuff and just having them understand. I, I'm happy that the, I'm sad that the internet exists sometimes, but I'm happy that it exists because you get to see certain things from a certain light. I just yep. read about this man that um he uh married his wife in Detroit. Married his wife. They was only married for like six months, and he got upset with her over something and so they was you know domestic violence she ran in the bathroom locked herself in the bathroom was trying to get out the window he he bust the wind he bust the uh door down door shot her 50 15 times Dang. And, and I like, guarantee you, with something like that, if he did that, that was not the first time. Right. Yeah. When it comes yeah. to physical abuse, it always escalates. It's always going to start off small and go, oh, baby, I'm sorry, I didn't and mean it. And then it that. increases over time. So if he got to that point, he got used to being himself. Yeah. That was himself coming out. So, yeah, no situation like I, yeah. I ain't trying to have my right. daughter. So, listen, oh, you know. my own boy getting bopped upside the head. Yeah, ain't that the truth, man? This joint podcast, <laughs> man. You this joint podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, man, we Let's have go. video number four. Oh. One, two, three. Bow. 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 <laughs> Bow. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Before we go to video number four, um, people, so I check our analytics. You know, New New York is still at number one of Shout our out listeners. Go ahead, New York. Yeah, Shout man. out to New, New York, York. Son. New York. We did something. We did it. We appreciate y'all, son. <laughs> I just was in New York yes, last Friday. Oh, work? Yeah. Shout out to New, New York. Yeah, man. Listen, New York be showing this, showing love, man. Yeah, we appreciate y'all. Appreciate everybody. And, and Philly still number seven. I. For the life of me, I do not understand why Philly is number seven. You know, seven, Philly is a hater okay. city. Yes. Like, damn, they hater city. We, I love you know what Philly. I'm I, I really wouldn't want to be from nowhere else, but Philly. We know Philly a hater city. Now, then, once and once our views and stuff really good, start right. popping, yeah, yo, okay, we, I know him. I know her. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we Philly. Yeah, we in the yeah, building. I grew up <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's cool. We still love y'all though. But we still love. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> we, we still love y'all. Man. Coming to territory. <laughs> Video number four. Oh. We got a date night that went wrong. A woman gets pressed by her date for not going home with them after he paid the bill. Yeah, oh, he was on some. Oh, he's like, yeah, I want, I want that yitty yak. I paid for the cookies. <laughs> you I want the cookie screen. Goodness gracious! It's this jump podcast. Mm. Oh. let's go. Sorry, what did you just say to me? Why are you order a taxi? Because I need to go home. Why you want to go home? I think you come home with me. Well, because I'm I'm done here and I'm not gonna go home with you. What you mean I'm going home with you? I mean, I pay for the dinner. Normally you come home with me. So you mean if you pay for the dinner, then I should go home and sleep with you? How much you pay for the dinner? It's not about the dinner, but I pay like 2.6 million. Oh, so you think that I'm just worth 2.6 million? I don't say that, but you know, just come home with me. No, no, no. Okay, how about you? I, I give you 2.6 million back. And I then I, I can go, money. right? I don't need it. So what what you want from me now? Come home with me now. No, no way. I'm going home now. I don't like you. So you're not coming home with me right now? No. Ah, okay, then. Next time, don't waste my time. I don't like you. Yeah, what, is it? what is it? I don't like you. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's fair. Because let's just say she was communicating with him through texting on the phone and then she and I've I've encountered this before. Um mm -hmm. and then she went on a date with this guy and didn't really got a chance to see what he was like and didn't really like him. But like see I've, that but I've see come across something like that. But at the end of the day, when I go on a date with somebody, I'll meet you there. You're not coming to pick me up. But see, that's why you gotta establish the dating parameters before you even go out on a dinner date. Uh, listen, hey baby girl, look. Before we do this. And I pay for this food. Am I going to get the kitty cat? But why should it have to be? Why can't we just go out on a date and go eat? Why do you have to have sex after it? It's because I'm trying to eat that kitty cat. So <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna be in the middle, in the middle here. So <laughs> I'm, I was trying to look up some some um, some currencies. Yeah, they kind of sound like they was in like you know the Asia area somewhere. So I looked up the yen. I looked up a couple of them. They was very. The, the, I, the, I, I think what was it the yen? 
It wasn't because that would have been like a seventy-one thousand dollar date. Now, God, I know he ain't spend that. Damn. So when I looked up, well, you give it up the, the butt. Indonesian currency, two point six million Indonesian, I guess it's rupees or rupees, is one hundred and sixty-three. US dollars. US. So I think okay. that's where they was at in Indonesia somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. So $163 ain't really nothing. So this is what y'all got to start doing, fellas. So you don't look like hornballs out here. Not cornballs, hornballs. Yeah, tell them, make it, tell them, bro. Cat Williams said, before you, go, before you go out and you think you want to try to sleep with a woman, go knock yourself off real quick. Dust yourself off mm -hmm. and then go out. Because then once you spend the money, you ain't even really worried about getting the cootie cat. And then you could actually feel like, all right, do I really like her? Because now you ain't worried about, you know, you know, getting the cootie cat. So I'm telling you, I need to take that advice because some of y'all, y'all can't keep equating. That goes for women, you. too. And yeah. Say it again. What you say? I said that goes for women, too. No, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We got we to gotta pull that back. You know why? Because the women that's giving up the cootie cat, it ain't too many men that's turning it down. Nine out of ten men is taking that. Now on the women's side, I'm not a woman, so I don't know. I think it's more like thirty percent that's going down with that. But on the men's side, women, if y'all want to still offer it, <laughs> Lord have mercy. But, but, throw, but it, throw it in the bag. Yeah, but see, the look, reason why I say it. the reason <laughs> look look at her you y'all. Look <laughs> see? <laughs> see, see the re the reason why I say that must be established before you go out on a date. <laughs> If you're talking to a woman or you or you meet a woman, you first meet a woman, talking to her on the phone, you know that conversation on the phone if if the date is gonna be a good date. Yeah. You should know that. Got because the conversation you have on the phone, even on the date, if you having a, and the vibe is good, the chilling is good, when that when that way to say, well, Bring you the bill. Nah, we ain't ready to leave yet. Cause that means nobody's ready to go because you're having a good time. Or no, man, give me give me a couple more drinks. Or, or, we're not ready in this or, night yet. No, nope, or pay agree. attention to the sexual cues. Yeah, if y'all having conversation and y'all talking about, you know, some sexual things that, mm. you know, it's starting to look oh, like, God. then that's when you say, okay, now let me see if I can try to finesse this going parlay forward. Parlay this date yes. even, even a couple hours. If y'all just sitting around talking about Walmart and talk about work and all that, that does not equate to you getting no yams. Yeah. You're going to play not, yourself. Exactly. Oh, go, ahead, go ahead, T. Mm. Cause you okay. over there talking about how, yeah. how, how, no, how, because the reason why I'm saying that is because I had this guy I was talking to and literally from the first time we talked on the phone he just kept bringing up sex I'm like what the hell I said why you keep bringing but that that's up not a, that's not going to equate to a good date okay so I, I realize that now not then <laughs> so we go on a date right oh, cause I told to him yams. you still right. the yams early. so look I told him I said look I don't even know you I said I haven't even been around you I said all we did was just talk on the phone <laughs> so we go on a date. By mm -hmm. the end of the date, he was like, "Okay, do you know me well enough now to go?" Them thighs said, is all in my eyes. I said, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "No." I had to like literally. I had to like literally the next day tell him like, "No, I can't do this." I said because it seems like every conversation is always leading to you know sexual interactions, and I'm like, not to mention you was ignorant as hell but, when we was but, at the restaurant. See, that, oh see, I respect the man because I do. He came straight from the top. He said, "Yo, he, he shot, did. Shot, Listen, he shot a shot from the rip." <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, again, as as an observant man, you would know, like, yo. If I take this girl out, it's going to be a good date because our phone conversation is vibing. I know. And so then when we go on a date, the date is vibing. And you know what? When it, be honest, I'm going to tell you, I can't say for all men, when a date is vibing, you're not even thinking about this, this, this section. You're thinking about no. extending <laughs> this date even longer. Yo, let's go somewhere else. Hell, let's go take a walk somewhere because no, I, 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 I do I not want this go. date to end. I was ready to go. He was so rude to the, to the waitress. I was like, I, and I kept asking him. I said, I kept saying to him, I said, look, don't worry about the waitress. I'm good. Well, she ain't give you your water yet. I'm like, just focus on me. Just just talk to me. He was focused on he you. Was. He wanted them yams. <laughs> them thighs is all that's on yeah, my mind. Man. Man. You know, you know, know how to did. I, 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 I took the check. I'm like, miss, let me borrow your pencil. And I'd have drew a, a dick right on the back of that damn receipt. And I'd have slid it to you. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? You want that right there? <laughs> <laughs> and you'd have been like, well, what's this? My dick! <laughs> Why did I not know? It was about to leave. 
Tea today. Oh my gosh. Here you go. <laughs> I'm not messing with you. I'm not messing with you. You don't want no Tea today. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean. oh, it's God. crazy. Boy, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> but, but you got to be observant, man. Yes. Because I'm not, listen, I'm not about giving out no free meals. And, and let me play devil's advocate. Ladies. Look, you ain't got to give out no free meals because listen, I ain't got no problem paying. Ladies, <laughs> do all. me a favor. Do not put that energy out there if you don't want the man to, to, to pounce on that. So we got to be mindful of that, too. Yeah, mm-hmm. fellas, don't be looking horny. Pay attention to the cues. Yeah, if, pay there, attention, if, yes. if there ain't nothing sexual really going on, <clears throat> chill out. But women, don't make it seem like... Don't be seductive and all that. Don't be feeling all on yourself and all. Shit, I wasn't. Look, no, I'm, I'm not saying. This, I'm, I'm not saying. Coming from the damn gym. I'm not saying that you <laughs> did that. I'm just saying in general, because as a man, yeah, my 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 sexual uh, tendencies are heightened because you're a new woman. So I'm looking at you. Ooh, cool. Don't mm-hmm. be doing all this extra stuff, like making it look like we're gonna get into something. And then and I we ain't getting enough. Yeah, like that's weird to me. So like don't do that either. But yeah, fellas, be chill. I'm not I'm an introvert. I can't I can't put my business on the streets, but I done did a lot. <coughs> and I ain't even had to do it. That's why I said I, I do a lot, but I don't do the most. Cause I don't do the <laughs> most and it, right and it got me a lot because I wasn't doing the most. So y'all just gotta chill. But wait a minute, T, let me ask you something. Have you ever been on a date? With a man who wasn't impressed, but you was like, damn, why he ain't impressed with this guy? I'm trying to give him this. Oh, I got that, too. I, I, no, you never? Nope. Ever? No, that's one thing. I'm never, I never pressure myself on no guy to give him none of me. Hell no. Mm-mm. All of me. So my thing is, is like, first of all, if I'm thinking it, my body actions or my body reactions are not going to say, show it. So no. <laughs> like, excuse me, this why is your nipples off? <laughs> it's not even it's ninety degrees in here. <laughs> oh, you got up the seat is a little wet. Did you pee on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, man, listen, you got it. You, you got fellas. So and it has ladies. been times that I was thinking about it, but did I did I act on act it? On no, it? no, not at all. But but I'm, I'm but the see, type of person I'm real calm, I'm collective, you know, I'm just, but, I'm real laid back. I you know I get chill. crazy. Chill. You know yeah. I get crazy. I you know I could get a little nasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But 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 it's it's up to a man to pick up on those cues. Yes, well, you know what I'm saying? You're too old to Yeah, we talking, man, because uh, you, you, you look like a goddamn fool. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I pay the bill. We're going to get some sex tonight. That's called prostitution, yeah. sir. <laughs> you done solicited some <laughs> prostitutes. Look, let me tell you something. You know if a man get butt or not by the way he acts. Is octopus in you? I mean, d- just grabbing all on you and, you know what I mean? No, you know, he ain't getting no sex. No yams. He ain't getting no yams. None. But if a man say, hey, go, baby, you know, $200 and shit, pay that bill and say, you like, oh, is this man getting pussy? I better hurry up and give him my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. No, thank you. Because if you acting like that, no way in the world I want to share what you got going on. That's what they call that community dick. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it being a man from the community. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah, I, I, feel, I don't I want it. It was cool to be a committee member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Hey, like, Los, what you do for a living? Really? I am a community <laughs> organizer. <laughs> I work with the people. <laughs> with the people, for the people. For the people. <laughs> Y'all is a mess. <laughs> yeah, they got, they not wrong, that goddamn. We, we men, we supposed to procreate and sling, sling mm-hmm. our. You know what yeah, I mean? Our, our, that's what you're supposed so to do. So our royal oats. Yes. So, yeah, that's so it. So are we supposed oats. to do that. Mm-hmm. The okay. caveman. <laughs> Hit you upside your head. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm upside your head with what? Yeah, hey, Greg, with that damn. <laughs> Look, TJ, stop it. <laughs> Why you always get him started? <laughs> Grab you by, drag you by your feet, goddamn it. <laughs> Pull you into the cave, do them things to you. <laughs> no diddy. Yeah, no okay. diddy. No diddy. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, like, what's that? I got a husband's bulge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take my glasses. <laughs> Oh man, we have video number five, y'all. <laughs> oh, where we at? Where we at? Video number five. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a security guard at Walgreens accuses a a black woman. I thought it was a white woman. I'm sorry. Accuses a black woman of stealing and demanding 
that she emptied her pockets. <laughs> Who was in the wrong? Oh my God! This is that peanut so cool. kicked this off. It's this Joe podcast. Oh. Yes. Let's go. This guy thinks yeah, I'm stealing. stealing. You got items on you, and I need those Wait, items back. I, I if you do not get those the items back, you're gonna be detained. You're gonna go to jail. Don't touch me. They see you on camera. See me on camera doing what? I have a job to do. It's not personal. It is personal because nope. you're accusing me of stealing. They watch you on camera. Watch me on they camera. They watch you on camera. Bring up the footage. They're, te- they're telling me right now that you Bring have up items the footage. on you. They're telling me right now you have the Bring items. Bring up the footage, please. So here's the deal, okay? I'm gonna work with you, okay? If you There's give me no the working. Item, this Don't is touch it. This me. is your only chance. This is your only chance. I literally. Okay, okay. okay let's go talk to the guy then. Don't tell me what to do. Who are you? Look at these people accusing me of stealing from CVS. I came here to get one prescription. You're going to get the test. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What are you talking about? Okay. So who here called the police on me? Because Nobody. apparently, okay. So they're saying why you have you, items on you, and I have to check you. What items? I'm here I literally just, for listen, my listen. Adderall listen. prescription. Here's, here's what I need. Okay, we can make a big deal if you want to. Make here's it a big deal. For the camera. It's either you're yep. calling the police. No, ma'am. That's not how it or, works. You, you don't get to make the rules. You don't dictate what happens here, okay? Okay. So what's going to happen, okay? Whatever. You're going to show me that you got nothing in your pocket. I'm not showing you know. shit because I don't have anything. Then you're going to get the I literally got off from then work you're from Amazon. And that's just how it works. You're accusing me. Listen, I'm not accusing you. They're accusing you, and I have a job Who's they? My management, my superiors. Bring store them down manager. here Listen. then. Show me the footage that here's you guys what, have. Okay, here's stealing. what you need to do. I literally here's came in here for my prescription. Here are your choices. And you guys are here are your choices. Here are your choices. Here are your choices. Here are your choices. You need to show me that you're, there's nothing in your pockets. Because they're saying there's stuff in your pockets. Stop walking <laughs> away. Stop walking away. Or what? You're going to get detained. You're going to go to the ground. And you're going to get sued. <laughs> I got a job to do. Listen, do I not walk also me. have a job to do. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Nope. Lo- I need my items store. back. Listen, I need my items what back. The, I don't know what the hell you're talking then about. Show me what's in your pockets. My wallet? No, I don't and care about your then, wallet. They just care about the items you. that you took and that you put into what the items? pockets. What items? The items that they're saying that you took. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. I literally well, stand in line clarify. for like you're 30 saying you minutes. Didn't, you're saying you didn't. So let me give you the benefit of the doubt. So clarify, right? I'm just going to look. You go ahead and you open it up yourself. I'm, I'm not clarifying anything for you. Yeah, you have to. No, I don't. That's how it works. Mm. Listen, she Bust stole it. it. Yeah, she stole it. <laughs> Bust she stole it. it. Yeah, is that a rolly? No, this is a stoley. <laughs> Miss, first of all, where is this Walgreens? Is it in Kensington? Because he had a gun and two clips on his chest. <laughs> yeah. He's ready, he ready for war. I've never seen a guard at Walgreens. <laughs> Again, he looked like he was going to on the front lines. He acted like he was at the border in Texas or something. He was ready for war. That's right. number one. Number two, ma'am. They say a guilty conscience needs no accuser. You are arguing with this man that looks like he's 6'8", 300 pounds. Mm-hmm. More than 300 pounds. If, if you did not steal mm-hmm. something, you could have easily just said, I didn't steal anything. Look, look took look whatever was pockets. out of your pockets and said, <clears throat> they might have thought about it. Or yep. even if you felt like there was profiling you because you were black, I'm I'm okay with that too. You could have said, I don't have anything in my pockets. I need the store manager's name. And guess what? This Walgreens is going to be mine in about six months. Yep. That's it. That's all he had to you do. You could have did anything like that. But you sitting there arguing, walking back and forth, just because you pull out your camera, don't make you innocent. It nope. don't. Nope. So nope. you doing all of that, it made you look more and more guilty. You being loud. None of the people in the store that you was videoing, they, don't care. they didn't look at you <laughs> like, uh-uh, she didn't do nothing. And you, didn't, you had no... Because they probably still We do don't too. believe you. You need <laughs> no people. Stop, miss. You, 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 she probably she probably in jail right now. Like, damn, I should have just never opened up yeah. my camera phone. Well, listen, look, word has just, it that she's still pleading your, her just innocence. Just, oh, well. Just, just, show, yeah. just show what's so in your pocket. So, now, if you don't have nothing in there, just show what the hell is in your pocket. T, let me ask you something. Do you think she stole something? I mean, who knows? She stole You know what? See, this is my thing. From experience working yeah. in retail... If he's following her like that, yeah, they must have saw her still something. Yeah, I'm sure they would not yeah. unless they, they really seen her on, they on camera. Actually, and 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 nine times out of ten, before they even go out there to get her, they done rewound that rewind that tight that tape. Yeah, and like looked at it closely to make sure before they even go out there because they don't want to make an ass out of themselves, and also at the same time they don't want to get sued. So yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to look at that tape. They're going to look at it real close. And make mm-hmm. sure before and while she's walking around the store, they making sure that everything is on point before they even go out there to get her. Yeah. But also at the same time, by her being a female, they need to have a female employee or 
security car, um, guard to go with them. Yes, because he can't. He 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 should not be able to touch her. He can her detain her. He can detain her. He can't frisk her. Right. But he can detain her as a as a, a, a law enforcement. Yeah, but he's he's talking about you know her what's in her pockets. Yeah, but that's why, saying, that's why he had to fight. That's yeah, why he had to fight. But him saying that if see? he would have touched her, she could say, "Oh well, yeah, you touched my body part." Yeah. So especially with somebody like her, you got to be careful. Yeah, I'd be like, I ain't touch her body part. Hey, well, why's your dick hard? <laughs> uh, First of all, how the hell do you see his dick over that big ass stomach? <laughs> ain't that one? Uh, uh, you know, but you ain't seeing nothing over that big behind stomach. Head. All she had to do was just open up the bag, just open it up, just, just, and then sued him later. Yeah, but he was saying like, okay, let me see your pockets. He said, let me see your pockets three times because he said, that, yeah, he said she has. And she said, said, my wallet. Okay, just show, show just that show if you your, show wallet. That's easy. Is that and then easy? Walk the hell out the store if it's nothing yeah. else in your pocket but then uh, that tells me that you, you stole something. you stole some and again at walgreens something that could fit in your pocket what's the highest price it could be forty dollars right. maybe fifty dollars maybe eighty dollars if, if it's some kind of medicine nah, like, i can tell you i'm willing to bet i can tell you what she's probably stole. some kind of cosmetic Co- or oh, there it is yeah. some makeup mac, some makeup, mac yep. makeup or something like her that being a female was yep. probably something makeup related I'm, i don't know i think she stole condoms i'm just damn <laughs> <laughs> no, they they be having the condoms behind. Uh, maybe not where she. Oh, at. behind the uh, the, behind the, the little counter. bit. They be having it like in the not, pharmacy n- area, not, don't they? Not no. So see, listen. She probably she probably stole. I the, live. The listen, pill. what's that pill? The, uh, I live. Uh, plan no, B. no, the Plan B. So no, no, they locked up. The, them pills is locked up. They locked up because they yes, prescription. They are. Oh, but yeah. listen, I live. You I, can't get that unless somebody open the. Case I live in the county, so if I go to the CVS in Philly, the condoms is locked up. But if you go to the <laughs> one out in the county, <laughs> well, maybe they need to start unlocking them because there's too many they, goddamn they, they illegitimate wide, kids running they around. They wide open in the in, in, uh, in the county where I and live. that's why they ain't got no illegitimate kids out here. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. They need to stop locking up the condoms <laughs> in Philly. <laughs> Fuck it, pass some joints out for free. Lock up the liquor. <laughs> lock up the liquor. <laughs> they keep the liquor open, but lock yes, up the do. condoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, make that make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What? Yeah, she was doing way too yeah, much. Yeah, man. Right? Come on now. You know damn well you said. Oh, but all he said was, I tell you, look, just return the items and then you right. can go. You can go. You made it hard for he yourself. He said, let me just see what's in your pocket. Yeah, too Let me just see what's much. in your pockets. I'm good. Now, if he, now if he would have, she would have pulled out a big ass pink dildo smacking across his lips. <laughs> this one's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so you you want it back? He said, <laughs> <laughs> "Only way, <laughs> like this, bitch. If you don't get out this store, so, <laughs> only way you leaving out of here is, is you give me your phone number." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this your podcast, man. Let's we want to thank y'all for joining for joining us tonight. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, I mean, we will. Time flies see when you have fun. Yeah, we will. Well. Y'all see us Saturday. Saturday afternoon. But then we'll see y'all next Tuesday. Tuesday night. Yeah, man. Seven days. Seven whole days. Tuesday night. We'll see y'all. What's it? We're seven whole nights. Seven whole (laughs) nights. Oh, man. Listen, this joint podcast, man. We love y'all. We see y'all. But let's have Peanut take us home. Yeah, man. It's this joint podcast. Oh. We out, let's go.